So guys, for the first step, you wanna head over to search and type in services, click on it. Now, once you're on this, you wanna click on any service, then click on W on your keyboard. You want to look for Windows Event Collector. You want to scroll down, here it is. You wanna double click on it, and then change the start up tab to automatic, and then click on start. And then click on okay. And now you wanna click on Windows Event Log. Do the same thing. Make sure that it's on automatic, and then click on start, which will then make the service running and then click on OK. We're going to do it one more time. We're going to scroll down until we find Windows Update. You want to double click on it, change the startup tab to Automatic, and then click on Start, and click on OK. Now, if you got to this stage and if any of the services were already running and it was already on Automatic before we got here, then you want to click on the service once and then click on Restart the service. Now, for the second step, you want to head over to Search again and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator and then click on yes. Now once you're on this, we're gonna type in prompt, click on enter. Then we're gonna type in SFC space forward slash scan file equals C colon backslash windows backslash system32 backslash IE frame dot DRL, click on enter. Now we're gonna type in SFC space forward slash verify file equals C colon backslash Windows backslash system32 backslash IE frame dot DRL and click on enter again. Now you want to type in ASSOC, click on enter, and now you want to restart your computer and then that should fix the problem. 